Good evening and welcome to another session of Blankety Blank. How quickly time flies. It seems only a couple of hours ago I was doing the Christmas show. <laughs> Like every the Christmas, you know, was full of leftovers, and that's what the panel is tonight, leftovers. <laughs> May I imagine, I must be fair, they've been specially picked for all the hard work, and every time they've been on the show, they've really been an asset. I mean that. First of all, a gentleman who's been in show business longer than a Bob Monkhouse suntan. <laughs> He's been dancing for so many years, even his chill blades are in equity. <laughs> Lionel Blair! When our next star celebrity gives her answers, you'll be jealous of your feet because they'll have already been asleep. <laughs> For many years, she was the entertainment office on the Marie Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> it is, of course, Mary Parkinson. <laughs> so it's nice to have this gentleman on the show. He looks a little bit like a golden green Barry Manilow. <laughs> I'm not saying he's at the bottom of show business, but he gargles with suppositories. <laughs> Gary Davis, love you. <laughs> this young lady can do nothing wrong for me. <laughs> but believe me, she'll keep it on the show till she does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Susan Dando! <laughs> to use the word veteran, is to understate the case for our next guest celebrity. Some comedians come and some go. He shuddered to a halt. <laughs> <laughs> <We're d> <laughs> it's true, I know. It's true. We're delighted to have him with us tonight. Delighted it's just one night. Here's your first Bernie Winters. <laughs> We especially asked for this last young lady because she's very good at uh, doing the football coup. But, you know, she does very well, seriously. And every time she does a coup, I try to get her drawers down. <laughs> Can <you> please? <laughs> Janice Long! <laughs> time now to meet the sucker of the people. <laughs> Come on, the show. <laughs> to win that, that marvellous array of the prize that we've got tonight, I believe me. <laughs> <laughs> They'll stagger you. <laughs> Lost before you've had a drink. <laughs> Margaret! How nice to meet you. Margaret Bates, you live with your husband, Dennis. <laughs> and you have two daughters, Anne and Catherine, in Stourbridge. And you belong to an operatic society. I operatic do. society. And you've been singing for songs for so long, you don't know if you're on your head or your aria. <laughs> That's the sort of little joke that's closed Moss Empires. Yeah. <laughs> you recently had a lead in a comedy called The Blue Goose, yes. and everybody went to have a gander. You wouldn't, you, you, is it true you enjoyed the part? Yes, I do. You can't understand where they put the stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> Fergus Bain, eh, hey, Fergus. <laughs> hey. You're a bachelor from County Tyrone, and you work as an optician, but you're still studying, so you're a pupil. <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend's called Iris, and jokes like this get cornier and cornier. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, all the best to the pair of you, all right? Thank you. Don't worry about the audience, it's no good at all, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you go first, Margaret, for a very major prize. <laughs> Something tells me that the new doctor used to be a vet, complained Sissy. <clears throat> when I went to see him about my sore throat, instead of asking me to say, ah, he told me to blank instead. <laughs> now, the clue is in the question, I want to tell you. <laughs> Lionel! That was me, yes. Something tells me that the new doctor used to be a, a vet, mm. complained Sissy. Mm. When I went to see him about my sore throat, instead of asking me to say, ah, he told me to blank instead. <laughs> Any problems, Mary? No problems at all. Lovely dress, lovely. <laughs> it was like cling foil. <laughs> <laughs> right, Margaret, now just take your time. Something tells me that the new doctor used to be a vet, complained Sissy. But I went to see him about my sore throat. Instead of asking me to say, ah, he told me to blank instead. Moo. Moo! Yeah. <laughs> Very good, moo. <laughs> we have moo! <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> no, we have bark or woof. woof. <laughs> you certainly got style. Sorry. Mary, love. No, we don't. We have bark. <laughs> Gary. Mary told me that this was right. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> Why don't you just do your old thing, for God's sake? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, can you do for me, Suzanne Dando? Oh, what have you got for me? I did the same as everyone. Bark. Well, it first thing comes into your mind. <laughs> Bernie. <laughs> 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 it's just a joke. <laughs> did it because it's the last show, and, yeah. <laughs> and I, she said moo, <laughs> and uh, yes. I said bark. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the nose on. Yeah. Janice, back. Well, there we go. So, you see, that's the way the show goes. But don't worry, Margaret. You've still time to lose, all right? <laughs> hey, it ain't new Fergus. Hey. Our local dustmen, dustmen, have been privatised. But it doesn't show in those overalls. <laughs> <laughs> they are so posh now that they even wear blanks on their rounds. But ubiquitous as well, so ubiquitous. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> Our local dustmen have been privatised. They are so posh now that they even wear blanks on their rounds. Very ambiguous, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> right, Fergus. Our local dustmen have been privatised. They're so posh now they even wear blanks on their rounds. All their hats. Bowler hats! Bowler hats! What's a good one? <laughs> Lionel? The gentleman said bowler hats. <laughs> what have you got, Lionel? Glove. Oh, so you tap shoes and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Parkinson, dear friend, what have you got from me? No, not a bowler hat. Oh, never mind. I knew you'd be an asset. <laughs> Gary, get me out of trouble. I did my own thing. Dinner suits? What did you say? Bowler hats, huh? What have you got for me? Uh, suits as well. Never mind, love. Uh, Bernie! Uh, wet up, Doc. <laughs> I got spats. <laughs> You've got more than spats. You've got a wealth of natural humour. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I don't know where it is, but he's got it. Got it! Suits and stuff. Never mind, love. Well, even Stevens, now you see. <laughs> Something. Not as easy as it looks in this show, you know. Right, now, ladies first. When I was a pop singer, said Engelbert Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a trained voice and a chair and whip. <laughs> a girl jumped up on the stage when I was performing and got a nasty shock when she touched my blank or blanks. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a pop singer, said Engelbert Dawson, a girl jumped up onto the stage when I was performing <laughs> and got a nasty shock when she touched my blank or blanks, and they have spelt shock S C H O C K. I still don't know what to write down. Will you take that nose off? Light, <laughs> <laughs> light, play, but you got to jump. <laughs> right, Margaret. When I was a pop singer, single, but on the village, jumped on the same house performing at a nasty shop, when she touched my blank or blanks. Shoes. Shoes! <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> We're going to run out of pens at this rate. <laughs> we have Lionel's shoes, and I know instinctively you're going to get me out of trouble, Lionel. Aren't you, Lionel? Go on, Lionel. Mike! <laughs> Mary, dear. I can't believe this. I've never done so badly. <laughs> yes, you have, Mary. Guitar. <laughs> Just string along with the others. Yeah. <laughs> Gary? You said blank or blanks. Exactly. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> However, it's not right. <laughs> Suzanne, right. beloved. I won't show the first one. It was late. Really? I've never, all the years I've been doing this, I've never, I just can't, I'm in a question tonight, and it's the last show of the series and everything, and I've taken my nose off, and I, I've got legs. Never mind, you're doing the best it's you not can. good enough. Right? No, it isn't, but you're doing the best you can. <laughs> Janice. I'm sorry. Yes, Lapland, well, there we go, you've still got nothing, Margaret. Have you come far? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, the pounding waves. It <laughs> never ends to this madcap journey. Across the mighty ocean, I tell you. Right. <laughs> now, come on, Fergus, you can't do any worse than this. <laughs> you ready? You only got a score. Well, you've won. <laughs> <laughs> Corporal Dawson, the old war veteran, still thinks he's in the army. Only yesterday he was seen wearing his old blank or blanks in the high street. Just take your time and you'll be all right, Fergus. <coughs> Corporal Dawson, the old war veteran, still thinks he's in the army. Only yesterday he was seen wearing his old blank or blank in the high street. Book it isn't right, but it's good. <laughs> I thought you were looking a little pale. <laughs> Come on, you. All right, Fergus, Cobble Dawson, the old war veteran, still thinks he's in the army. Only yesterday he was seen wearing his old blank or blanks in the high street. Uniform. His uniform. I'm sure we're going to get one here. <laughs> Climb over, we have uniform. I'm leaving now. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> I've put stripes. Oh, that's OK, Lionel. It's stripes. No, it is. Sorry. You came highly recommended. <laughs> that old folks' home. It's getting better. Uniform. Uniform! <laughs> well, come and join me now, Fergus, if you will. Oh, super. <laughs> Never mind, my duck. <laughs> Were you born in a greenhouse? <laughs> I used to be as tall as that when I was hit with a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, you're not the worst we've had on the show. I'm yeah. trying to think of somebody who was, but you're not, <laughs> but you're not going to empty out because the BBC in their largesse <laughs> refuse absolutely to have people walk away from this friendly little show of ours with nothing. But tonight we're going to make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it away with you, you blackly black jab again. Pen! <laughs> you look me in the eye and say that. <laughs> <laughs> now it's. <laughs> It's super match. And <laughs> we held a poll with the studio audience <laughs> to ascertain what they thought was the correct phrase or saying that's concealed <laughs> behind this lump of paper mashy. <laughs> <laughs> now, rising in popularity. For, can you hear me, Fergus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yodel. <laughs> 50 blanks, 100 blanks, and 150 blanks. And for the benefit of our local viewers at home, we might be watching the show. Here are some of the prizes. Enjoy a candlelit dinner for two at your favourite restaurant. Join the jet set with its high-speed hose. A super selection of luxury kitchen equipment. Care for your lawn with a special collection of garden tools. A range of beautiful executive his and hers leather goods. And tonight's star prize is a holiday for two in romantic Venice. <laughs> Today we're doing the programme all about little moths, aren't we? <laughs> Wait, our little viewers. <laughs> <laughs> right, please reveal the legend, Fred. Play blank. Now you can have three of our distinguished cabal of celebrities to help you in this task, Lucas. Who would you like first? Janice. You'd like Janice Long? Janice, play? Fergus, I reckon it's play school. Play school. Well, yeah. well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Mary. Mary Parkinson, my love. Play. Time. Oh, what that super. <laughs> um, Lionel. Lionel Von Blair. Playboy. Playboy. Play <laughs> Don't wonder, love, it's murder pulling you back. <laughs> <laughs> so if I know has a haircut and a frost diffuser. <laughs> right, you've got Lionel with boy. Mary with time and Janice with school. But you can have one if you don't if you want, Fergus. No. You can if you want, Fergus. <laughs> you can have anything you want, Fergus. <laughs> he's a person. <laughs> play school. You're going for play school, Janice, right? 
For 50 blacks we have... Play away. That's all that was. For 100 blacks we have... Time! But for 150 blanks and a major prize... Ground! <laughs> well, Fergus, you've won nothing. <laughs> in fact, it's, you wouldn't even found your way here, Fergus. <laughs> anyway, don't worry over it, because you might still be in for the headset, so we'll see you later. Right. Just watch the shoot as you go down the back. All right. <laughs> Well, before we carry on with our next contestant, quite frankly, I have to say this, and I've never said that on the show before, but take it in the, in, in the, in the, in the spirit which is given, it is not meant to be facetious, but frankly, I don't think as a panel you're very good. I'm not happy with you as a panel. Just a moment, please. <laughs> How dare you speak to us like we come here for practically nothing. True. Yeah. Yeah. You're a yeah. Bulgarian. Yeah. Yeah. Who's oh, a Bulgarian? I'm not yeah. standing yeah. with a yeah. panel. Yeah. 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 A great yeah. 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 You oh, wait. Thank you. I'm going somewhere. I wear my nose. Ah, they think I'm best today. I who am crouched back to the throne. That wasn't bad, that was it? <laughs> well, there's some friends of mine in the audience tonight, and they'll make up a better fan than they were. I can see Joe Brown. Where's Joe Brown? Let's have your beer, Joe. Come help me out. Patrice, let it. Patrice, come up. Let me down. <laughs> How are we all ready? Well, what a wonderful panel. I'm going and all. Oh, <laughs> stay, stay, go, go, stay with me, Joe. So, no, no, you're very important. <laughs> now, Jill. Jill Bow. Bow. Bower. Bower. <laughs> Dad, you wouldn't buy me a bower. <laughs> you used, used to be a partner with Sully's Hire Vans in Lewis, the company known as. Gilbow Sullivan. <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> You're ambitious to tour the United States. I love travelling. In one week, what was it last year? I was in Air in Scotland and Ghana in Africa. The sort of Air today and Ghana oh. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right, that'll do for me. <laughs> right, Derek. Derek Bagoli from Manchester, same as me. Yes. Married to Ireland, and you have two children, Amanda and Mark, and you're an assistant bank manager. Yes. You always remember, that's what a bank is, a place that will lend you money if you can prove conclusively you don't need it. Right? <laughs> and there's a blankety-blank checkbook and pen for it. <laughs> I said to my bank manager last week, I said, that was my account stand. He said, I'll toss you for it. <laughs> You spent six years in the Navy, but your resignment was your turn in the battle. <laughs> <laughs> right. Jill, you're first. Ladies, always first. I will never play golf again with my gardener, said Sevi Ballesteros. Why, he even used a blank to get out of a bunker. Now, just think of the, the clues in the question somewhere. Oh, Joe Sam? Oh, fuck, whatever. Yeah, that one again. I will never play golf with my gardener. Said, said Sevi Ballesteros. Well, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it again. Sevi Ballesteros. Got it, got it, got it. Why? He even used a blank to get out of a bunker. Got it. OK, love? Yes. She never gets fitted for a dress. She throws out a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her, really. <laughs> right, folks. Lights on. I will never play golf again with my gardener, said Sevi Ballesteros. Why? He even used a blank to get out of a bunker. 
A spade or a shovel? A spade or a shovel. <laughs> Spade on a shovel, Joe. Oh, I knew you were that mean. <laughs> Patrice? <coughs> yes. <coughs> Which will let me know when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> you see, gardeners don't use gold clubs. <laughs> that's, that's very good, I'm delighted. <laughs> Talk out, say, well, no, that's what you thought was right. <laughs> Peter? There we go. Very Linda, my chicky chick chick. A shovel. I played golf with a German last week. <laughs> I thought you was a club. It took me four hours to get him out of the bunker. <laughs> Amy? Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know much about gardening, you see, so. No. I did a hoe. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> right, it's your turn now, Derek. Dr. Watson, Dr. Watson, didn't play a violin like Sherlock Holmes. He preferred a brass instrument. You could often hear the sound of his blank late into the night. <laughs> right? uh, Dr. Watson didn't play a violin like Sherlock Holmes. He preferred a brass instrument. You could often hear the sound of his blank late into the night. Okay, Lights on, please. All right, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Dr. Watson didn't play a violin like Sherlock Holmes. He preferred a brass instrument. You could often hear the sound of his blank late into the night. Trombone. His trombone. Well, it's trombone. <laughs> trombone, we have Joseph. I don't. I got tuba. tuba. Well, that the trees? I got the same. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, my friend, what have you got for me? Mm. I'm quite sure. <laughs> no? Oh, no, you can do no. a lot of business with them. <laughs> what have you got for me, Angel Face? Trumpet. Now, that's the answer. Should have been trumpet. Duncan! <laughs> I hadn't even spoke it right. I put status code. <laughs> How's your career going? <laughs> Amy! I put stethoscope too. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor, use for pregnancy test, use a trumpet. They have it to the ear. What <laughs> ear are you talking about with doctors with tubes? I'm listening to your stomach with a trumpet. My doctor's <laughs> Your doctor? Yeah. You need more than a trumpet, you need a tube and a listen to your <laughs> Well, never mind, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go again now, Derek. <laughs> Are you doing all right, Derek? <laughs> you probably lost about nine customers when this comes out. <laughs> I had a medical checkup last week. The doctor cried when he saw my tear duct and laughed when he saw my blanks. <laughs> <laughs> Could be blank or blanks. <laughs> I had a medical checkup last week. The doctor cried when he saw my tear duct. And laughed when he saw my blank dark blanks. Lights, 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 lights. I had a medical checkup last week. The doctor cried when he saw my tear duct and laughed when he saw my blank. Laugh lines. Laugh lines? I walk up and down here, Dad. <laughs> I'm going smaller walking up and down. I've not got legs now, they're twigs. <laughs> Laugh lines. Laugh lines. No, no, no. Mm. Teeth. Gee, well, that's silly. Cry, tear ducts. Laugh, teeth. <laughs> you don't laugh with your teeth. No, he was laughing at his teeth. <laughs> that's what you said. Read it again. <laughs> I'm sick of looking dumb on here. <laughs> Sorry if we've, if we've upset you. Upset me? You drove me insane. <laughs> we, we just thrilled to have the three degrees with us. <laughs> Peter? Oh, right. I'm, I'm wrong. They're right. I'm wrong. How can you get no? <laughs> Linda? 
Stomach. Stomach without an H. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, Derek. Apart from it's been a waste of bloody time. <laughs> Will you come and join me, Jill? For Superman. <laughs> Well, Derek, it's been f smashing. At least you turned up. <laughs> I'm the best you. Do you think you should have one? Yeah! yeah. You're taking away with you a blankety black jet book and pen! <laughs> Supermatch again. Please reveal the legend. Thanks, Fred. Gift. Gift, Black Naked. I have three of our distinguished, to excuse the phrase, panellists to help you on this. Who would you like first? Duncan. You like Duncan Norvell. Duncan? Uh, gift? Gift wrapped. Gift wrapped. Very good. <laughs> Linda. Linda? Gift? Box. Gift box. That's a nice one. And Who else? Uh, Joe. Joe Brownson. What was your bet then? Gift. Yeah. Gift, gift yeah. Ulf. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think we got a gift <laughs> Ulf. Right. So you've got Joe, Joe with horse, Linda with box, Duncan with wrap. If you want one, if you don't, you can do it. It's a talent to you. No, I'll go for wrapped. You're going for wrapped? Yeah. <laughs> Duncan's wrapped. For 50 blacks, we have. <laughs> vouchers. Gift? What? Vouchers. Never thought of that one. I did not. Never thought of that one. Never even dreamt of that one. Probably so, probably so. For 100 blacks, we have. <laughs> horse. But hold your breath. For 150 blanks, it was, of course. Right! <laughs> and you have one for yourself a luxury kitchen equipment, which is a spoon in a leather bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's marvellous. Now, you could double this on the head to head to a spring holiday in Venice. Ooh! Ooh. Spring holiday in Venice is a smashing trip. Have you ever been down there? It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready now? We'll enjoy it. No, just take your time. Okay. Now, you can only have one of the panellists to help you in this task, oh. I'm afraid. Yeah. Who, 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 who would you like? Joe. You're going for Joe Brown. Right. Right, fair enough. Joe, you're in the hot seat, kids. When you write it down, yeah. and if you match with what Joe's written, that holiday in Venice is yours. OK. okay. Good blank. Good. G double O D. Good blank. Okay, Joe. Yeah. Now everybody's rooting for you, kid. <laughs> well, well, what a prize! <laughs> oh yes. Are you ready? Yep. Good. Bye. Good bye, good bye. and it is good gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, first you asked him, Will <laughs> <me. I'm> <laughs> you stop and do it? If those chins get together, we'll have had it. <laughs> This panel at all now after that. <laughs> so can I have the first panel back and see if they can win something for us? Yeah, Come yeah. on, yeah. Yeah. Right. You pick whoever you want. <coughs> Mary. You're going for oh. Mary <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mary, write it down, please. And you you speak it. If you meant Turkish blank. Turkish blank. You got it, Mary? Yeah. Right. For that holiday in Venice. <laughs> Turkish delight. delight. Turkish delight. Yeah. Yeah. Show in the present series, and I'd like to thank they are all great friends for coming on the show. God You've been marvellous. You, of course, have got that holiday in Venice, you got your blanket, your black check, your pen, and all our good wishes. But to be in the last show, I'm going to toast you for that win <laughs> and to toast my friends and the studio audience and the people at home. Waitress! Oh, hello! <laughs> Thank you.
We'll be back soon, ladies. To a great panel. God bless you all, friends. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, you've been smashing. To all our viewers at home for the support and to our contestants. And thanks, Sammy. You're welcome. Good night, God bless. You. See you again. We hope. <laughs> News Quiz to The Now Show and Dead Ringers. Full on satirical fun with Friday Night Comedy from Radio 4. Listen now on BBC Sounds.